So from here, we're gonna start in a situation where we cross out on our opponent, where our opponent gets the underhook on the far side. So because he has this underhook, he's able to bridge and turn to his knees. Now what he wants to do ultimately is be able to get to his knees, use this underhook to come up, and change the game by either taking me down or getting on top. But what I'm gonna do is as he comes up, I'm gonna look to wrap his arm and insert it into the choke. So as he goes to his knees, I'm gonna wrap his arm around and cut his shoulder to slow him down. Now from here, I'm gonna lower my level and start to shoot my hand all the way through to the far side to gain maximum leverage. I don't want his arm holding onto my hamstring here. So I kick back and I bring my leg over to sandwich his arm on the inside. From here, I'm gonna cup the back of the head and control with a gable grip, pulling him into me nice and tight. Now from here, I'm gonna slide my arm up to create the inverted katakatami and look to squeeze and put pressure to finish him with the popularized name, the Diarce Choke, from my good friend, Joe Diarce. The keys to success in the Diarce Choke is to make sure that your arm shoots all the way through, past your opponent's head. Once it's through, lock your bicep and drop all of your weight over your opponent's trapped tricep. 